All right, welcome back. Pick your location wisely. You almost damn have enough points. That day, you were rehearsing classes. You acted so hard that some of your class lights, audience, in the audience, threw roses at you. Seven thorns, to be exact. Damn, roses aren't a viable form of currency or stats in the game. Anyway, you collect the roses and you convert them with your conversion out. <laughs> Equal three, two creativity points. Sweet, you got two creativity. It's a good thing they have that conversion app. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so I was playing FOF. <laughs> What's that? Uh, oh, you were playing FOF? I'm Joey and I play FOF! <laughs> Send nudes. Are you sure? Oh, nice. I was like, what? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't stand for fuck off, fucker, fakers, because that's what you are. You're a faker! <laughs> what? How do you figure, Leonardo? I was just trying to tell Blue how much fun I was having. Being a fake gamer girl? Because that's what you really, a real gamer world, would need to talk about how much fun they are. They'd be playing them. <laughs> a real fan doesn't go around shoving their fanness in other people's faces. That's what girls do, because that's what they're doing for attention. I like this guy. <laughs> Leonardo. Literally all you do is prove that you're a real fan. You're the one who interrupts this perfectly normal conversation. Fake conversation? Leonardo. Fake Leonardo? Wait, real Leonardo. Girls aren't the fake ones. So are you saying there's no real gamer girls? Well... I thought I met one once, but she wasn't like all the other girls until she was like that bitch friendzoned in me and went on date another asshole, Chad Rosiora. Wait, how did this <laughs> have to do with story. anything with her interest in gaming? Poor Zoe, she's new enough to this whole being a high school girl thing that she looks like she has no idea that the world of reasoning with the Leonardo of the world. <laughs> Not that, not to be a white knight or anything, but you really should step in and find a way to distract Leonardo so you and Zoe can discuss absolutely general neutral topics like gaming and peace. Actually, it's extremely easy. You just walk up to him and you go, Yo, is that Superman number one? And <laughs> distract Leonardo by creating the perfect real gamer profile on picture on thing. Tell Leonardo you heard someone say there's no real wrong way to play video games. <laughs> I feel like that might be the right way I, to distract him. I, I like you heard someone say is really funny. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's the second one. That's That feels like it would be pretty distracting for him. <laughs> Not so smart. Ugh. Ugh. Yes, I also heard that. They were they saying say every video game... Every way to enjoy a video game is valid, as long as you're fulfilling your personality. Of course there's no wrong way to enjoy video games! I was wrong. Uh, oh, really? I'm kind of surprised I figured that you did. It's because you make one wrong move and you enjoy video games? It's the pusher that I get from getting to tell you how wrong you are! For everyone who liked video games in the way they are... <laughs> I hate this guy. I mean, you really were, uh, you were really going hard for him for a while there. I was just gonna let you run with it. <laughs> if everyone only liked video games in the way that they were confirmed proving that they liked video games the most, and shoving the superiority in other people's faces, then how could I prove that I love video games the most and shove into other people's faces? This dude talks too much. <laughs> Here, let me show you. He does, and the awful. You lose three charm. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I think you got fucked, dude. No. Nope. I need seven charms, so I'm still okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> Whoosh. Uh, I'm gonna just keep going fun. So, outdoors. <laughs> uh, B button is not the select button on Nintendo. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Super annoying. Uh, smart magical lantern, cat, blah, blah, blah. Cat ping. You don't remember sucking at dancing. dancing. You decide to go all and pretend a new dance. The groovy Macarena Joe looks at you, and he asks you, "Teach me that groovy Macarado." In no time, half the party is flopping to your steps. New groovy to all together. The party is to remember you get too fun. And a cool story to tell your grandkids. You notice Liam and Polly. I'm not having grandkids. I'm fucking a robot. <laughs> You're a weird eldritch being. Around a cow, 
Watching expectingly for the looks on their faces, it's not going well. Do most do so. Do me so do. Do mouse toro. So tea. How's the music, friends? Are you enjoying it? <laughs> I don't enjoy music. I experience it. I don't enjoy music. I experience music. I fucking hate these people in real life. I I know a guy who's like this actually, but he's not like this. This, but like. Whenever he gets a new album, he, like, listens to it. He oh, puts yeah. on headphones, lays down, and listens to the whole album with no nothing else, no distractions, to, to really experience the song. I experienced And I'm like, I'm like, that's some dedication. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Your music is kind of bad, sorry. I'm trying my hardest. Why are you... Why is success so difficult to achieve? Music is so simple. It is merely mathematics. That is true, actually. I'm sorry, but what did you just say? I'm trying my hardest. Why is... It's the same four no, chords. No, no. Four chords, man. <laughs> no, no. I heard you. That wasn't a really... That was a rhetorical, rhetorical question. question. Uh, meant to demonstrate my... Incom... Increased... In... Oh my god. Incorrectability. Oh, fuck uh, Yeah, dude. Music is more than some lame math. It's about rhythms and grooves and having the same four fucking chords. <laughs> a killer bass line to help. Begin. <laughs> Derek, not the music I wasn't doing. <laughs> I know. Kick in. No, 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 Polly. You're too focused on the st stimulations. Good music should give you the same feeling as milking a goat under the rain in October. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know all those fucking hipsters. <laughs> Introductions, incapacitable. Please provide a fail-proof formula for the production of flawless music. Polly's too high to provide a <laughs> foolproof formula for anything except for maybe LSD. And Liam thinks formulas are for fascists. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's up to you to make a suggestion. Well, that has to be the most Music is all about randomness. Try uploading a virus into <laughs> some music <laughs> software and see what happens. Music is all about writing, waiting as as long as possible to drop the beat. I'm gonna assume it's the first one. I have no idea. Sure. Ah, Not so bold. God. I I don't think I'm getting this. <laughs> that seems like a very bad idea. Uh, how you know it's a good idea? So you know it's a good idea. Oh, okay. It seems to settle things. You warp out a. Cassette of milk and empty it onto <laughs> your CD tray and rusted. What are you doing? You explain your thought of the all robots were lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerance isn't a virus, it's a genetic condition. <laughs> Even if it was, we want a cool <laughs> music version, <laughs> not a canton of damp milk. Oh, wait, I think it's bzz working. I can feel music coming on. I. I tried to make music, but my music was bad. My friends poured milk on me, so I was so sad. Calculus, buddy. Buddy? Yes, friend Polly? That was a really bad song, Calculus. It is? The worst. Shame, Shame. module overload. <laughs> Shutting down to avoid fatal embarrassment. Also, the milk seems to have destroyed my circuits. Polly looked at you disappointingly. You know what? You lose two charm and one creativity. Well, don't shit, worry, you didn't fine. need I that. I don't need either of those stats. I still need the hearts, though, and I don't think I have them. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Everyone chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud for the rest of the players to hear. Um, okay, I got one. Uh, yeah, okay, I got one. Three, two, two one. The public US government. masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> those are good ones. <laughs> Based on. Player order is decided based on how much our country needs, needs a, the Department of U.S. of uh, the United a, States or a Minister I would, of yours. It's, it's yours, Chris. A Minister of Public Masturbation. Yeah, I think mine wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ding dong. Ah oh, man, I'm not feeling good about this one. Me neither, man. I, I think you got a shot. I think I might be. In, I think I might be doomed. I gotta just keep going for it. Friend Polly. 
Please correct me if I have misunderstood, as I am still new to these conditions, terms, customs, whatevers. <laughs> but it is my understanding that the cafeteria is designated for the consumption of calories by those organic beings who need them to live. Haven't like, we sat with these two yeah. for a little bit? Uh, I think we did once before. Yeah. And the tables are for, therefore, calories on in order to consume. Yes. You got it, little robot buddy. But you seem to be dancing on top of the table, therefore preventing your fellow students from using it for this designated function. Yeah. Nailed it! <laughs> and you are engaging other students to do the same as confetti rains down from the ceilings <laughs> and multiple disco balls flash brightly and your music is very loud, which is why you are shouting over it. <laughs> Boom! See? You understand more than you think because you're crushing it like I'm crushing this rave! From, from my understanding, the outdoor location is designated for raves. The cafeteria is for food <laughs> consumption. It's true, the outdoor area is consistently a giant rave. That this is, is true. The only thing is there. <laughs> Disrupting the ability to consume food in a space designated for food consumption is not very nice, and I believe you should stop. Well, well, I believe that it's that's lame and dumb, and I can't stop. I won't stop partying until I get keep partying. So I'm just going to keep partying. You seem... they seem to be at a standoff. Time to step in and turn the tide. Polly should rave, Calculon. The raw intensity of the rays is powering the whole cafeteria by itself. Renewable energies, bitches. <laughs> Renewable energy, bitches. Cal is right. You... we know... Uh, we know you're all about throne, throne uh, parties in righteous places. So why not find somewhere even, even more, more ridiculous to try to take the rave to Navarma? Got it. Ah, friend Polly. Paulina. Paulina. Certainly, you do not want to, to want the curtail the, the fun. fun of your rave, but perhaps you should enjoy yourself just a, as much somewhere, somewhere that is not disrupting our classmates. What? That's it. That's enough. Everybody, stop. Cut the lights. Cut the music. Take your damn heads off the piano, Justin. This party just got shut down. Polly, I apologize. I didn't mean to ruin your fun. Because it's headed to Nirvana. Who followed me to this wardrobe? Bam. Party in the desert. <laughs> well, Yellow, that was quite a brilliant solution. I must suggest. Uh, you must be one of the few monsters here who pays attention in class and gets gain plus, plus smarts. two smarts. <laughs> no, just plus smarts. <laughs> Logic. Watching a sequence. Stimulating gratitude. Thank you. It had a heart. No, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. Seemed like you brought us quite a time while Paulina parties in Nirvana. What's up, bitches? I'm back from Nirvana. You guys miss me for the past years? Past years. years. You've got gone 12 seconds and 18 milliseconds according to my clock. Did your dumb forget how Nirvana works? I got... Just because I've got became queen and ruled for 20 years and burned that shit to the ground. Oh! The dopest... I realized what it is. Narnia. It's fucking Narnia. Fucking, we can't read. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops, shit, I didn't mean that. Chat runs super high on these super shroom, and I just tripped really hard and had a 12-year... And long... then a 20-year-long specific hallucination. And for the last 12 seconds, who the fuck knows when it comes to the super shrooms? I mean, it's cool that you became queen and all, but did Santa give you guns? Because that was, like, the best part of the, the books. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, and Calx still seemed pleased. Go ahead and count it as a win. I yeah, sure will. stat -wise. I sure will. Derek, make the right choices. It's not like Zoe, and... We haven't seen this character in a while. Yeah. <laughs> It's not like Zoe and Miranda aren't exactly the perkiest of girls. They do seem to be extra perky as they are snickering about writing things down in notebooks. Doubtless, you are admiring our great work, Blue. You see, we are only food critics. We are now food critics, and Zoe has hired me for her magazine. Prison magazine. Totally a real food magazine. <laughs> it's an honor to have you on board, your highness. Zoe holds up a bunch of pictures stapled together with a doodle on crayons that seems like an Eldritch Root Ruins. Nice. <laughs> with some 
Barkley <laughs> scratch. scratch and sniff stickers on top of it. Nice. If you're quiet and subservient, you may watch us on our great quest for the greatest food critics ever. I was a little hesitant about founding this very legitimate magazine since I'm new to eating things other than minds and souls. <laughs> and I usually <laughs> have my s eating like surfs eat for me, but Zoe and I realized that we are absolutely best food critics according to food our test audiences. <laughs> which is complete. <laughs> which was comprised of Marine's food surfs. surfs. Now watch us create culinary criticism, criticism magic. magic. First up, macaroni and cheese. This food contains the macaroni and the cheese, and therefore addresses five stars according to definitions of next. Curious <laughs> with vegetables. I've never tried, and pre pieces seem too small to even register in my many mouths. Nice. I try not... I try... I won't try it either. But its name sounds very, very fancy. Five, so five stars. Here is the microwave. Yes, they're very shiny and very cubic shape, which is both equal food. Which is both good qual qualities of food. For food. Five, five stars. stars. Here are some french fries. They don't seem to be very particularly French. But they don't seem particularly un-French <laughs> either. <laughs> Facts. Oh dear. How will we ever determine their French French, French also this <laughs> I Easy. swear to god this game makes up words. It does. <laughs> Absolutely does. <laughs> Easy. This that's your speciality. Zoe, you should give the French fries a French kiss worthy of the most epicness of French fictions. fiction to check how French they are and French history. Therefore, it's a calculate their the French, French only. Novel. Miranda, you should always the most qualified determinants. The only one to establish Frenchology is would be to go to French and then eat the stirfs. <laughs> oh, they're checking out. <laughs> True. Oh, how did you know about my French-themed spooky... <laughs> spooky high... Oué, <laughs> eu, las, monster, <laughs> You're truly are my number one fan, aren't you, Blue? By number one fan, she means trying to get in her tentacles at prom night, then sure! <laughs> What's the difference, really? <laughs> if you find them to be satisfied good Chrissers, my ethereal Conipiara, I will introduce you to this endeavor. It would be good practice for me when my prince comes along, provided I am not in an enchanted slumber at the time. <laughs> I really feel like people... Shouldn't be kissing people in any kind of slumber, Summer. but that's a separate <laughs> issue. I'm not Summer. going to make out with anybody on a French potato now. <laughs> Thanks. And then she does! And I found out that kissing is both French and fried. Five stars! Five stars! In blue! Maybe you and I should work on another kissing assignment sometime. Heck yeah! And you do! <laughs> <laughs> it's getting butterflies kissing uh, to... Honey, honey roasted, roasted butterflies flies to determine their butterfly factor. Five stars! I mean, is there a better way to Time do Time to it? trade places. Choose a video game. <laughs> okay. Say it out loud for the rest of the players before clicking. Um. Okay, I got one. Yeah, I got one. Three, two, one, Spyro. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of it. I know. <laughs> Uh, but in order to decide... Based on how uh, Antonio, if Shakespeare training, brought to life only for this purpose, stream the game online. Uh, to play Assassin's Creed or, or, or Spyro. Spyro. I, I mean, it's Shakespeare. Uh, he Assassin's literally Creed. grew up in the time period that Assassin's Creed takes place in, so I he would probably be quite knowledgeable. So yeah, I think it would be that <laughs> one, yeah. <laughs> I do like those little prompts when you're playing multiplayer. He'd be like, my play was performed at this building. <laughs> so... You're first. Uh, yes. Uh, what do you need? I need the auditorium. You need the auditorium. It looks like I'm taking the auditorium. Looks like I'm going to the auditorium! 
I think you need some more smarts, Chris. Um, I could do smarts or fun. Just get more smarts, just to be safe. Alright, I'll go with smarts. You tried to teach so many things about so many other things, but you lost track of how many things, so you moved it's on from super this conversation because you stopped giving a shit. <laughs> that was a different prompt. <laughs> Yonkin will find you afterwards. He's clearly flattered. Uh, da, 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 shit. Friend Yellow, my virtual society has become too intelligently advanced. That does happen. <laughs> they have not solved war, nor hunger, nor Mondays. <laughs> they are beginning to theorize about the nature of reality itself. See, that's the easiest one. Just get rid of Mondays. It's so easy. <laughs> yeah. Some believe that the entire world exists on the back of a enormous just... turtle. Okay. I'm and not... I'm not worried about those people. <laughs> Nor am I worried about those who believe that life is just but a dream. I'm worried about... Or those oh, who believe that it's... a hallucination created by an evil demon offered me slightly. <laughs> but the most worrisome ones, by far, are those who I, theorize that the entire I, I, world is a virtual construct. I just got that. The like the, I, though I am a little the like I am a little offended by the ones that think the entire world was created by some sort of demon. <laughs> oh man, virtual constructs. You know the Matrix people. We all know them. Surely, friend Yellow, you can understand the inherent danger here. If my students have discovered that the virtual reality is not real. They might rebel, destroying re reality itself. Even worse, they might be sad, which I do not think I would be able to bear. <laughs> Please, your organic devotionism to help me lie to them more significantly. More efficiently. Organic deficiencies. organic deficiencies is your middle name. <laughs> you had it changed to regular deficiencies because you cared about the environment. <laughs> nice. Send all of your most suspicious uh, uh, citizens, citizens to an even more reality virtual reality so they can believe they woke up in a real world that your would people be a power move are only asking so many questions because they are have no mindless di uh, no mindless diversions versions to distract, to distract them. them that being said have I told you about the uh, Kar 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 Kardashians that one, I think. It's yeah, it's got to be that one because it's stupid. Yep. Oh, not creative. <laughs> Fuck. I was gonna pick the first one too, but I was like, oh, this one's so stupid. It's got to be this one. Yep. Uh, interesting. You wish to distract the citizens with enormous process, family squabbles, and lavish luxury of porn. Yes. It's not something I've ever heard it has considered, and yet. It has, it has keep, to keep people in this reality for realizing that they're in a simulation, has it not? <laughs> that was so fucking third wall. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Installing Kardashian EXE. Dude, he literally, moment, literally just admitted that we're all in the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, they are in a Matrix. Wait, no, wait, wait back on a second. <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on, back up a second. <laughs> Analyzing results, update. Oh dear. The citizens are in revolt. They seem to not believe that any reality... In which the Kardashians <laughs> exist could be possibly real. In fairness, that's how I feel. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> but what about this what is reality? reality? <laughs> no time to answer external questions, Yellow. I have virtual uprisings to address. You lose two boldness and one charm. What is this reality is real? Why are the characters' traits represented by numbers? <laughs> you have one boldness. Wow, that motherfucker went crazy. <laughs> I am doing fucking god awful. No, I think you'll uh, still get it. I mean, I'll get it because bold. I don't know, man. I gotta get the hearts, and I'm not sure I'm gonna get it. I think you have enough, but I might be wrong. I don't know, because you can't keep track of them in this fucking game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, make the right choice, Derek. You summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to entertain your crowd event. Oh Too creative, god. but you use three years of your life at the end of the deal. So who cares? <laughs> That's not happening in game anyway. Fair. This game is just like real life. Oh, the yeah. amount of me being like, I don't think it's working out. It's working out fine, dude. I don't know, man. I don't think she's into me. <laughs> you finish what you're doing, and you're about to settle down for quite some quality quality slacking off when Zoe's cultists come sniffing over. Greetings, pro mighty prophet. Your disguise is so convincing today. I think we find out more about what the cultists want in the next episode. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.